I want to begin by thanking the Office of Human Rights, led by the incredible Director Stowe, the Office of Community Partnerships, Mount Calvary Baptist Church, all of our faith leaders who have once again come together in solidarity to show their love and support and respect for one another and all of our residents here in Montgomery County. I want to thank my colleagues on the council that are here with us today, Councilmember Andrew Friedson, Councilmember Sidney Katz, all of my colleagues who, through me today, want to express our deepest condolences to the 10 families whose lives were shattered just over a week ago. Families that included a father on his way to buy a birthday cake for the birthday of his three-year-old son, a retired police officer who selflessly sacrificed his own life as a security guard to try and defend those around him, and the countless hundreds of thousands of people around this country, including me, who were once again startled, awakened, scared, with what has become an all too common pattern, made up of awful ingredients, fear, hatred, anger, ignorance, and yet once again, the ability to be able to purchase a firearm that has no reasonable business in any community at any time. We are here today once again to reaffirm the Montgomery Way. And in the Montgomery Way, we acknowledge that we believe we are, in fact, our brother's keeper. In the Montgomery Way, we acknowledge that we do try our best to live by the golden rule, to treat others as we would have treated ourselves. In the Montgomery Way, we recognize that we are so much stronger united than divided. We choose peace. We choose love. We choose respect for one another. And we certainly may not be perfect. But as evidenced today with these remarkable faith leaders from across our community, we once again reaffirm that we understand we are led by humanity. And regardless of what God we may or may not pray to, what unites us as a community is that humanity. It's impossible to make sense of the senseless. And sometimes I know it's very difficult, as it is right now, to find light in such awful darkness. But we cannot give up. We cannot be tired. We must continue to resolve to come together as a community. We have to take practical steps through our policies and our action, such as what the council did last year in banning the sale of ghost guns and our General Assembly reaffirmed across our state. We have to take practical steps, as the county executive mentioned, and provide the resources necessary for our places of worship and places of gathering that disproportionately we see with too many of these incidences impact our Jewish community, our black and brown community, our immigrant community in a way that is terrifying but that also follows unfortunately a tradition in this country that goes back since its founding. That ignorance that people are afraid, as the county executive said, someone may replace them. Nobody's replacing anybody. We are on the same team. We are part of the same family. We breathe the same air. We drink the same water. We bleed the same way. So we also have to take practical measures to support our youth. Because I've been in the youth development space for 20 years, and I can tell you 
that the fear and the anxiety and the emotional distress that the last two years have taken on our youth are truly extraordinary. The programs and services that they have grown to count on, the caring adults that have been so important to their development and their life, were not there for them for a year and a half, or in some cases longer. We've got some work to do. We've got some ground to make up. We're going to make up that ground. We are going to do that work because we have to and because it's the right thing to do. I want to acknowledge Councilmember Will Jawando, who has just come forward as well. And I'll end with this. Councilmember Jawando helped lead an effort supported by all of my colleagues that recognized racism is a public health crisis. And it has to be tackled in that vein, which means that every single one of us has a responsibility. And while all of us can't do everything, each of us can do something. I, as the president of the council and as a member of this body, but more importantly, as a human being on this earth, am committed to doing everything I can to weed out this anger, to weed out this hate, to prevent it from happening in the future. I want to thank everybody for coming together today. I actually am optimistic, despite the horror and all of the tragedy that we have seen, that we live in the possible. And when I look out into this beautiful church and into this wonderful congregation, I see Montgomery County. I see what's possible. So thank you all so much for coming together today to once again reaffirm the love and the respect that we need to have for each other every day, every moment, every year. Thank you, thank you, thank you.